And, uh, some of the projects that I work on, I already got a video posted on it, is taking recycled aluminum cans and uh, smelting them down, pulling them into a form mold and making superchargers out of them. The other aspect of it was that schools, all these schools, taxpayers are paying to fund all these schools and they have machine shops and fab shops and electronics. They have all those Votech educational classes and they could utilize equipment and space in those schools with those facilities to make its own money. The machine shop could make money doing these superchargers. The school's machine shop and fab shop and engineering and design Votech educational classes could be a course for the students to learn how to do stuff like that and make money and pay its own bills. And of course, I expect to be I expect to be financially compensated about ten thousand dollars a year. Every school that would do it, I'd get paid ten thousand dollars a year. Literally, take all these recycled aluminum cans, take all the aluminum cans out of the trash cans, smelt them down, pour them into some form molds, and machine that stuff into superchargers for for vehicles, motorcycles, four wheelers, boats, and be a way for the schools to utilize their facilities to make money to pay their own bills. And yeah, it's in the middle of this COVID crap, and everybody's talking about how they wondering how they're going to finance paying for people to keep their schools sanitary, sanitized from COVID crap. I've been saying that for years. All these schools sit dormant through the nighttime, not all night long. All that stuff sitting there costing money, not making money. All through summertime, they're sitting there costing money, not making money. Those machine shops, the carpentry shops, the electronics, all those vo vocational educational facilities could be used to make money. Literally had the students sit there learning how to make superchargers out of recycled aluminum cans. Schools would be making money, and I would. I'd get paid $10,000 a year from every school that starts implementing the program to utilize the school's facilities and equipment to make its own money and pay its own bills. And yeah, I'd expect my financial compensation on it by $10,000 a year. Every school in America, every school in America starts putting the school to use and the equipment in the schools to use to make its own money to pay its own bills, finance its own operations instead of taxpayers being burdened, everybody talking about squeezing the taxpayer for more taxes to finance schools. I have, I've been getting tired of that for a long time, but that's one example of the way it could happen. Take recycled aluminum cans, take aluminum cans, recycle them, melt them down, and manufacture superchargers through the school's fab shop. During the day, the school the students would be learning how to do their engineering and design, and all through the nighttime, there'd be a team of individuals there running the operations at mass production, mass produce the products, put it out on the market. The school would be financing their own operations. I don't just post this information up on the internet freely. I expect to be financially compensated. They do. I'm hearing a bunch of bull crap talking about how people are. It's they do. They got their guy. They got their uh, scheme scam of where it's illegal to solicit finances. It's illegal to solicit being financially compensated for anything. You have to go through a legal structure to legally solicit being financially compensated for anything. Otherwise, they can try to charge you for theft through deception, fraud, all that bull crap. I don't care. I'm, I do the stuff I do to make the money I make. Just like I was saying, Polaris timber sled. I got videos up saying this stuff. I come up with all kinds of ways to do all kinds of things, making all kinds of stuff to make all kinds of money, and I keep getting robbed and stolen of every bit of it. One of them's Polaris timber sled in the X Games. Snowmobile dirt bike conversion kits. That's my stuff that somebody stole from me and Polaris Timber Sled wound up manufacturing it. Everybody that was involved in stealing that from me owes me $50,000. Every single one of them that was, that was participating in stealing that from me owes me $50,000. Everybody that keeps buying Polaris' equipment that's aware of what the, what's happened owes me money. But anyway, that's another example I figure I'd post up on my YouTube channel, being another example of how I do what I do, and I don't have to put up nobody's crap. Getting stolen and robbed by these people. Asian carp. I've been saying that. I got robbed with $36 million on Asian carp.
people stole my concept of harvesting Asian carp out of southwestern Kentucky, spent $18 million to buy a fish harvester out of Alaska, and stole my concept of harvesting Asian carp, making money doing it. $36 million they robbed me of on that particular concept of making money. And, and my, my interpretation of it is it was an in, it's an invasive species, and I'd be making money doing wildlife management and making money doing it at, at the same time. Eliminating, reducing, I wouldn't eliminate, I'd reduce the population of Asian carp. Make a lot of money doing it, 10 cents to 60 cents a pound, about 100,000 pounds a day. I'd be making about $10,000 a month, anywhere along those lines. Anyways, that's just another video I do, posting up my stuff. The other, the other side of it that I'm getting robbed of now is using the Asian carp to produce pet food. The Asian carp pet food. Yeah, there's somebody else that's getting, been getting on my nerves. Made a point to ride through here right when I started doing the video. Another individual that's in my life that don't have no reason to be in my life. Terrorist. Stocking terrorist. Been dealing with that individual for about two years now. Anyways, on to the next video. Just like I was saying, this particular video is associated with me being financially, financially compensated with practical, constructive, productive concepts and getting paid for my services. Having the schools open up their fab shops and equipment and using their facilities and equipment for the schools to pay their own bills instead of taxpayers having to foot the bill. Schools would be manufacturing and mass producing superchargers out of recycled aluminum cans. It's like I was saying, I expect to be financially compensated $10,000 a year for every school that does it. Uh, anybody and everybody that wants to steal and rob from people like me, they got it coming to them. They are. They're a bunch of parasites, scandalous, low-life individuals going around stealing and robbing from people, destroying their lives. I'm going to have to stop this video. It's running out of recording storage, memory storage.